let me now invite our keynote speaker, Dr. Dr. Rasmi Jeta. Dr. Rasmi Jeta is a historian. Dr. Rasmi Jeta is a filmmaker, and he needs no more introduction. Over to Dr. Rasmi Jeta for his keynote address. Thank you, thank you, Braj, once again for giving me this opportunity, the opportunity uh, for being a part of the book, and also the opportunity for being a part of this book launch event. About this COVID-19 pause, uh, uncommon tales of common man, is the question that what was the need to write a book? And how did the idea come to the mind of uh, Braj to start writing a book or collecting people to collect articles? Uh, what was the need? You see, uh, we call it a book. I call it what Braj has also mentioned. Uh, it is a historical document. You see, when uh, we do not write history, we forget history. And when we forget history, we create fabricated history, concocted history. We create history which we find that this is there on social media, which is wrong. See, this whole concept of uh, COVID and uh, the consequent uh, lockdown and that long lockdown that came for a long time, initially it was, as uh, Braj has put it in a very good word, that it was a kind of a nightmare initially. And later on, nobody realized that there would be uh, light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> it is Pandora's box. In fact, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. The light started coming in the middle of the tunnel. What was the need to write a book? If you don't write a book, we miss out a very, very important aspect of history. And that aspect of history, we all spent time doing something or the other or doing nothing during lockdown. Somebody played, somebody stayed at home, watched film, did something or the other. But no one was interested in documenting what was happening. And believe it, we hardly have books on COVID. This is perhaps uh, one of the few books that uh, has uh, come to the notice of the people. And I hope that that will you know, uh, run a very good show in the market because we don't have collection of articles. Now, COVID is important because it deals with the psychology of people. It does not really deal with, because you see, the day you take leave, it is your own day. But the whole world has taken leave. It was a compulsory casual leave and everybody was put on medical leave. It's a kind of a thing. And then everybody was doing something. But 50 years hence, people would forget. Five years hence, people would forget what had happened during these few months. So it was very, very important to document it. You see, Akbar became very, very important because Abul Fazal was there and he documented Akbar Nama. And he wrote each and every important thing related to Akbar, which is fortunately with us today. And that is why Akbar became so great. But there were many warriors contemporary to Akbar, not known to people, not known at all to people. And I know many of them. Because the history was not written. Because there was no court historian. So it is really a wonderful work of Braj, who took a decision and made it possible with repeated efforts of reminders and repeated reminders to authors to write and submit. Because now when we see the book, it has come to a shape which has become a resource for many of the readers, many of the researchers in future. Five years hence, if people would like to do research, if they would like to make film on COVID, maybe some of the stories would be uh, <clears throat> narrated to them, which would be concocted. But what we have registered here in the book, a good 45 contributions, 
it is going to become a resource for those future researchers on COVID all across the world because the scenario was almost the same. So Brudge rose to the opportunity and made people write the bygone experience. I pay homage to all those who lost their lives. I pay homage to all those who were uh, COVID warriors. In fact, I made a few small short films on them also. But the positive part which we try to record here was excellent. In a short span of time, I was unable to go through the whole of the book, but yes, I did go through some of the articles. And one of them was Brudge. Uh, he tells uh, of clash of values. He writes of clash of values, a wake up call and a nightmare. And then uh, uh, it's a Pandora's box. What a beautiful uh, amalgamation of thoughts that he has produced in his writings. Another thing uh, which uh, I uh, went through and uh, the article of R.K. Chopra, you know, an international motivational speaker, which we have, um, must be he's there on the platform. Uh, he writes how to reject negativity and, you know, accept and accommodate positivity. And he writes a very few, a very important line. Let's, let's talk to each other rather than talking about <laughs> others. So talking about others is not so important. What we have uh, here is to talk to each other to be more positive. I have uh, read some, some more articles. Uh, one of them was uh, Abhinay Sridhar, The Opaque Canopy. And sometimes when you win, you lose. And but sometimes when, in, when you win, you lose. But even when you think you have lost, you may win something priceless. It's a beautiful writing. It's the meaning has, you know, the, what, what we say, uh, read between the lines. Manjula Srinath has uh, written a very beautiful article in that building sustainability and empowering transformation, changing the mindset of people and embracing learning by being positive. Jeva Kumar, I know him personally, is another beautiful contribution. I, I, I think today it happens to be his birthday. So many, many returns to the day today. Uh, new business skills and COVID time. 45 contributions all over the world. It is a learning experience for all of us. And I tell you, one day, there are many filmmakers. There are many uh, storytellers. There are many narrators. There are many researchers who would approach us because they would like to take something, they would like to take something from uh, the articles of the book. 